Hello Internet, I'm Monev and I've been playing Kerbal Space Program. Uh, early September, the NASA launched a probe called Laddie to the orbit of the moon, and when I watched the launch on the television and news and such, it uh, mentioned that it was a five-stage rocket launch vehicle with all solid engine stages. So I thought, like, hmm, that sounds like an interesting to do in Kerbal Space Program, so I'm going to be doing that. In fact, I have already constructed Laddie. Actually, I've constructed numerous iterations of Laddie, but I've come up with one that, that, that works, and we're going to launch that today. I've, uh, before setting up, before launching this vehicle, I rotated the planet to what I believe would get us a lunar encounter without necessarily having to orbit around the planet several times. Here you can see our craft. It is five stages of solid rocket engines. Uh, one, two, three, four, and this is a five. This is the fifth stage of 48 sepatrons, and I tell you, it has quite the kick. Now, it it does seem like we have an awful lot of solid rocket boosters for our first stage, for such a low power or low mass vehicle. But it's actually more about uh, achieving a high terminal velocity because the amount of time we can burn is solidly fixed. So if we want to do this in five stages. The first couple stages have to push really hard. So we are ready. Uh, I'll actually show you a bit what the front end looks like. Maybe yes. All right. All right. So here is our Laddie probe. I tried to make it as accurate to the actual probe as possible. Um, you know, octahedral, eight-sided thing, kind of pointy at top. Of course, the panel is kind of clipped together, but there's not a lot. Do about that. Uh, it does have RCS jets on the real probe, and I put these on here to um, mimic the reality of what they look like. Though they're only the bottom two; they didn't have the, the, the top two on the real thing. But uh, again, we, we can't physically do that. And there's no actual RCS fuel on here; they're they're just for looks. But uh, you know, we're trying to recreate something, so looks are important. All right, I believe we are ready, and let's launch. I don't even have to worry about throttling up. Never. The Laddie probe itself does have engines, and they are liquid. Um, that is true to the case. Uh, the solid engines should be getting us into an elongated curve in orbit, and the Laddie itself will be finishing off the intersection into... I forgot to turn on SAS. Talking and rocketry don't mix. There we go. Yep, each stage gets significantly easier to control. Now, of course, if you uh, heard, if you did or did not hear about the launch, it actually left from, I don't know, Virginia or from Delaware, but from the east coast of the United States, from right around, right around there. And that's one of the highest latitude launches to the moon. I believe, or at least it was, it was the first la uh, lunar launches from that facility. Whether or not there are other facilities on the same latitude or higher that have done so, I don't actually know. It's entirely possible. to gravity turn too much since we started gravity turning almost at 8 kilometers, 5 kilometers. But we're going well now and should not have any problems. I do kind of have to hope that our trajectory does intersect the moon at this point. It should. I mean, it's right there. That's how everyone always says, if you want to go to the moon, just burn at it when it appears on the horizon. So. We're not, and of course, uh, the deeper in a gravity well you fire your engines, the more you kick out of them. So we're just going to be firing all of our stages right now, not even bothering to look at the map because we just need to go. Yeah, 
and we're actually going to spin up for stability for the next thing because again this is quite the kick here we go there is there is more delta v in that three second burn than the previous 24 seconds all right so we are good we'll detach that and we are on our way Okay, let us see what our trajectory is doing for us. Not bad. All right. Let's see if we just pop a maneuver node, if that we do have a good arc to the moon. Oh, yeah, we do. We have something we can intercept with right from the pad. So, I think we may want to maybe just do our... Well, no, of course we just burn there. We will more likely do that. There we go. That's not too bad. It's only 267 meters per second. That gets us a really close encounter with the moon. Do it a bit early, do we? Closer? No, we get farther away. And that actually gets us an escape trajectory. So there, that's how you can get in a straight trajectory with only five solid stages. Alright, so 133, that is too high. The, the, uh, the entire purpose of the Laddie mission is actually to fly very, very close to the surface and collect quote-unquote exosphere uh, samples of dust in what could be considered an atmosphere, but not really. Basically just kind of floating dust. 13, that'll do. Alright. Now we will pair, prepare for our burn. First stop, our spin. The real Laddie was launched, I believe, on the 10th of September. 10th, 12th, 13th, something like that. And it is currently uh, October 10th, and the news has already been released that it has reached lunar orbit. And um, the idea with the actual Laddie probe wasn't necessarily to get to the moon directly on the initial burn, but it gets in this kind of highly eccentric orbit, and then Laddie burned a couple times to get it to where it needed to go. So it was not not quite a direct burn like this, but um, still a very similar profile. If it wasn't for the whole that periapsis being still inside the planet. Oh, and a node in now. A little bit late. A little bit late, but we'll be okay. Yes. Great. I like it. We are on our way to the moon, though I don't like it flickering like that. That doesn't please me. Let's get ourselves there and see what's going on. Because, see, I don't like how it says that we're not getting that intercept now. want to feel like there's something we can do to fix this. This has me concerned. I do not like it when I do not know for things for certain, because it, it should be solid. I mean, we're passing right bloody by it. I mean, what could, what's the other possibility if, of not going by it? Just, 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 just get there. Oh, I see. We're coming on the backside and flipping in. That is a little weird. Huh. I don't think I've done it that way before. Oh, no, no. We're going in here and out there. Yeah. Time warp 500, that... Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting all weirded out by those crazy readings. Alright, so, we will be getting our motor capture... That's the flag I planted for an SSTO mission, the, the three-man SSTO challenge hard mode. Which you may have saw, I, I mentioned uh, the making of this video in that video. So maybe you saw this video coming. So since this is going to be a, since Laddie is a low flight mission, we're going to get our orbit down to the uh, five or six kilometer range, I think would be good. 
know you can fly over six kilometers around the not necessarily hitting it. So we're going to try to do that. I know I, there are some mountains that are in the five range. So we're going to try to avoid them. I, but I think something like six will be good and that'll, that'll meet our super low mission objective. Back to our pro view now. And we do have a couple of sensors on it. it the Laddie probe did have a, a gravity, well, not gravioli, but a graviton, grav some kind of sensor, and something else. It had two sensors. I do not, uh, the, well, the second one was the collection of the, the moon dust, obviously. Uh, we don't have something like that in Gulf of Space so I just kind of put on a barometer just so that I could have two things on the side like they're supposed to be. Right, we have a... I'm still time warping. We have a burn to get to, a 10 second burn. Alright, at least, again, we never have to worry about the uh, wrong side of facing the sun for solar panels, of course every side is the solar panel side. And that is exactly why the NASA scientists did it well. You, you, you can actually save a lot of complexity by just carpeting the whole thing with solar panels and not having to worry about uh, solar panels that unfurl and have to point the correct direction or anything like that. So it's like, screw it, just plaster on there. And that is another one thing, the, the, one of the design principles for LADI was actually an entirely modular system, so in future missions may look very similar to Laddie in that they'll be composed of roughly similar parts. Uh, they may add more uh, st uh, section stacks for additional fuel if they have to go farther. They have different uh, science probes bolted onto the side and things like that. So that will certainly be a familiar sight in the future, I believe. And yeah, uh, it'll be nice to see the with version 22 coming out soon, TM. It'll be nice to see that these will have a purpose again. Right now, they don't really do much of anything. But in version 22, they're going to be an atmosphere collection data or data collection system. And I'm, I, I like that. I do kind of like them. I like the fact that they do have the whole antenna and camera. Thing. They are an attractive part, in my opinion. Alright. I don't really want to screw up this launched like this uh, maneuver node by talking so I may get a little quiet but it is due to concentration I assure you and not passing out hello moon don't screw it up not screwing it up Ah, uh, I screw it up. <laughs> I think I screwed it up. <laughs> I did. Uh, we fixed this. We have the fuel. Oh yes, I haven't been showing you the old one, but it does actually have a fair amount of fuel. We can, we do have some dick around space. Right. All right. So we have thing about six-ish. That's six-ish. So we will come around here and then lower that one to six, and then that will be the end of the mission. Five. Oop. Nine. That'll do. Nope. Get on there. <sighs> oh, that is one of the problems of getting a very low altitude lunar orbit is it's you lose a lot of your ability to time warp and just default go to very very low time warp speeds which can make a mission very long 
if uh, you don't want it to be. But fortunately, we only have to do just one orbit around here, and we'll be good. We'll call, and I will call that a mission, and then we'll just leave this here. Apparently, we have a burn of nothing, so that should be pretty easy. One go. Ooh, point four. Right, let's see. That's six two. That's five eight. And one. The node is correct. We do want a bit more. That's five eight. Five nine two. Five, yep, that's good. I will take that. And we're this is our lowest point in the orbit, and it is certainly above any mountain ranges there. Do not appear to be colliding anywhere. We are actually probably at our closest right now, so let's see if we can take a look at that. Yes, I see you, Mr. Scatter Terrain. Yeah, uh, I don't have any lights on here, unfortunately. Um, just because it's not part of the mission profile, but it is okay. Um, I... Yeah, we can't really time warp too much. Let's get around to the day side. Maybe see the surface that way. And we have flag. I believe that. Yeah, that's one of my three man SSTOs. And I think it's some debris from something. I don't know what. Because <laughs> whose moon doesn't have debris on it? No. Yeah, it's Kerbin. Hello, Kerbin. You know, if I had some daylight showing on this thing, that'd make it a nice screenshot. But right now, it's just too dark. Hey there. Ooh, I kind of want something here. I'm going to do this. Alright. Mm -hmm. Trying to orient the probe so we can see it in profile and kind of make out what it is. But it's hard. I guess. I guess that'll have to do. Oh, this is getting away from us. Alright. Mission complete. Alright. Now we can see our surface. Okay, so with a nice view of the lunar surface, Laddie probe in a low orbit, collecting quote-unquote data, which we will collect data soon. I can... Once we have the science, I can easily remake this probe. Well, once we have probe, once I have unlocked probes. But we'll remake this and we'll do actual science with our Laddie probe around the moon. That's all. Go build something. <laughs>